Hi guys, this is Mathias, and in this video we will be focusing on the ST Shamond, the assault tank that has, just like the other tanks, three different loadouts. And we'll be comparing the three loadouts, talking about their pros and cons throughout this video. The one that you see me using here is the default one, and the loadout is called Field Assault Package. You can have four gunners, aside from yourself being the driver, and uh, the gunners will be able to shoot one in each direction, meaning that you have actually one gunner in this loadout and in one more of the loadouts that actually can shoot straight forward. And the fact that a, one of the gunners can shoot straight forward is an important feature when you decide what tank to choose, especially if you have a tank crew. However, the most recognizable feature of this loadout with this tank is probably the utility Pigeon Carrier Artillery. Looks like this. Oh, nice. Now, there's no question that this artillery strike made this tank very popular, especially in the very beginning when it was released, which was with the They Shall Not Pass DLC. And I gotta say, uh, this was one of the reasons why I started using it as well. But over time, I've actually come to enjoy the other two loadouts even more. And the way I see it, this artillery strike actually has a very strong drawback the fact that you are immobile when using it. Now, don't get me wrong, this utility is fantastic for clearing a flag, uh, whether you're defending or attacking, but you are very, very vulnerable while doing so. Unfortunately, playing very aggressively with the tank is something that very rarely pays off, especially if you are in the weaker team. Important to remember about this package also is that one of your utilities or countermeasures is emergency repair. Is this us taking this flag? Yeah. Oh, this is not gonna work. Ah. Too many. So, next up here we have the standoff assault package. And uh, the number one thing about this tank that uh, you should take advantage of is this spotting light. In the beginning, I kind of underestimated it, but holy shit, this is good. Now it does exactly what it says, it spots your enemies. Anything that you point your light at will be spotted and this is a massive help to you as a tanker and to the rest of your team. Now another important thing about this tank is that you only have three gunners, meaning that you have no gunner shooting forward in the same direction as yourself. But your secondary weapon is this machine gun that you seem to be using quite a bit. And it is completely separate from your main gun, unlike with the two others, where you also have, of course, a secondary weapon, but it will take up one of the shots in your magazine. Now, if you don't have a reliable tank crew, then I would probably recommend you this one for most of the maps, especially the larger maps. And another factor that plays into that decision is that the main gun, the 75mm cannon, has higher velocity and less drop than the other two. This tank also does a little bit more damage to other tanks than the other two loadouts. Now, unfortunately, I don't know by exactly how much, but I've seen it in-game several times. Uh, the thing is, though, that every time you shoot at a tank, or, well, for the most part, the damage you do varies a lot depending on where on the tank you hit and also what kind of a tank you hit. This tank also has the smoke screen as a countermeasure. Not that much, it, that's not, that's an average of like a few damage more. Ja, 
So yeah, for tank versus tank, I think this is the best choice among the shamans. But uh, there are probably a lot better choices if you choose from the other tank models. I have never chosen this tank specifically to take out or counter another tank. The standoff assault package is for versatility, as is probably the other two as well. They just have different ways of being just versatile. Shit. Enemy scout. Carry up. Yeah. You can get a shitload of kills with this tank. So last but not least, we have the gas assault package. And this one was quite underestimated for a long time. And then something happened, there was a major bug in the game that made a lot of projectiles bounce off and ricochet on the tanks when they really shouldn't. But this bug didn't affect the shell of this loadout, giving the gas assault package a major breakthrough. Now after this bug, and after people got used to this loadout, it became a lot more popular. Even though there were already people before the bug that praised this loadout, especially on this map, Amion. Now one of the problems I have with this one is that sometimes I don't really know which one of my weapons I have chosen. So many times when I want to shoot the primary, I end up shooting the secondary, which is a gas grenade. And as you all know, this gas grenade doesn't do any damage towards enemy tanks. So now one of the things that this loadout has with most of the other tanks is that the secondary and the primary uses the same ammo count. If you empty the magazine with your primary, then it's also empty for your secondary, meaning that you have to wait to reload, and once it's reloaded, you have them both. Now this is the common way that the primary and secondary works with the tanks in Battlefield 1, but not with the standoff assault tank that I just showed you, and with a few other tanks and loadouts. Uh, land ship. Yeah. There's three assaults over there, maybe it's possible. Yeah. Oh fuck. I hit the tank. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on the flank. This is a bit risky, but it could be doable. Here it is. Oh, that was a high-risk maneuver that didn't pay off. So now the weakness of this tank is that not only is the primary a little bit weak against armor or enemy vehicles, but it's also slow and it doesn't even one-hit kill an attack plane. Now, I know a lot of people find it very satisfying to shoot down a plane with a one-hit kill, but unless the plane is damaged from before, you can't do that with this tank, whether it's an attack plane or any of the bombers. You'll see that in a few minutes. Now the strength of this, of the primary of this uh, loadout is that it has a very unique way of dealing splash damage. The shell of the primary of this tank has a tendency to bounce and hit a target that would be just around a corner or close to a wall or some such. Also, if uh, the drop is too much and you haven't calculated, even if the shell lands in front of your target, it will continue sliding towards the target, many times dealing either damage or killing whatever you're trying to hit. So choosing this loadout means you have to consider good versus bad. That should clear the way if I shoot in there. Now the countermeasure for this tank is the gas emitter and the emergency repair. And I have to say, 
I haven't really made much use of the gas emitter or the secondary, which is the gas grenade, but I'm sure they are both very good used correctly. Probably a bit weaker than the other two loadouts, but still. So yeah, worth mentioning is that both the standoff assault package and the field assault package are a lot better at taking out planes and also the airship behemoth than the gas assault package, and that's a big difference. Now with the two loadouts that I mentioned, you want to use the secondary against the airship. You'll see a little bit of that later on in the video. Oh, land ship! What? That didn't hit? Yeah, it should be down. Yeah, oh, there we go. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Hope you will enjoy the rest of it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. I hit that plane. You shoot yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, he bailed. He bailed. Nice. <laughs> he got wrecked. Ah. The secondary does quite a bit of damage to the behemoth. Much more than the primary. Primary is like a joke. Oh, look at if I shoot a gondolier. Sixty damage if I shoot a gondolier. You get double damage or something. Oh, nice. Alright, let's shoot the other one. We have lost objective apples. Aha, we have to be... Shit. Oh shit, he's chasing us. He's going to bomb us. <laughs> that was a bad idea to go for him there. Is that the land ship or artillery truck? Yeah, it's the artillery truck. He went down.